Hey, listeners! Yo, what's up? It's your girls, Kira and Lily, back at it again with the (laughs) third episode of The Elegy. And guess what? It's a new year. It's 2017. And you know what that means? We're talking resolutions. Yep. What are your resolutions, Kira? Well, you know what? I actually got a belly dancing skirt for Christmas, and so it's kind of on my to-do list. I've always wanted to teach myself how to dance, and now I have the opportunity. So for my 2017 resolution, I decided, hey, why not? I'll put some time aside each day to teach myself how to belly dance. That's super awesome. Honestly, I didn't make any resolutions because typically I like to think about setting goals for myself throughout the year, and I never understood why that should just happen at the beginning of the year. I mean, that's kind of true. Yeah, a lot of people just make up things throughout the year and they want to better themselves. It really makes you wonder how New Year's resolutions started because we all have such different opinions about how they should be thought out. According to history.org, the first New Year's resolutions were created by the ancient Babylonians who lived 4,000 years ago. They celebrated the New Year in about March, but they still practiced celebrating for the coming of the new calendar and in turn set goals for the year. Then the um, ancient Romans were actually the first to start celebrating the new year and when we do in January. And what they did was they would make sacrifices to the gods um, in order to have a prosperous upcoming year. So in this time, New Year's became really religious, which translated later in history as the Christian movement started adopting New Year's and that that holiday would be celebrated with praying and singing hymns. But as we know today, New Year's is not considered a religious holiday and people are making resolutions for themselves instead of for a deity. Now we're going to ask a couple of our own homestead students what their resolutions are and not just that. See, let's see if they've actually stuck to them since January 1st. Because that's the test. How much salad have you eaten, Kira? Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so Ms. Gunderson, did you come up with any New Year's resolutions for 2017? I did. I want to spend more time in reflection. It, it literally means setting aside some time each day for reflect, reflection, whether it's from a, a teaching standpoint, how did my teaching go today, how are my students doing today, what do I need to do differently, to a personal spiritual relax, reflection. Mm-hmm. So do you think resolutions, they last long enough? Do people actually follow through with them? Oh, I think it's, it, they can. I don't think they ever work perfectly. And there's, a, especially with New Year's resolutions, there's this idea, if I fall off the wagon with it, I'm done. Oops, yeah, exactly. Wait till next year. So if there's an attitude like that, no, they're not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but if there's an attitude of, I'm going to do this to enhance my life over the next year, then that leaves some room for successes and failures. I think my favorite thing going around and interviewing different people about their New Year's resolutions was actually seeing how they approach their resolutions. Like a junior, Tyler Duell, he had a full notebook where he just wrote down um, his goals. I went through a very thorough process. Of, I went, I had a brainstorm, and then I got the first 30, and then I divided them by three. Wow. Do you, so, so you have a very meticulous process for our New Year's resolutions? Yes, do you do this every year? No. This is, this is the first time. Have you gone through with your New Year's resolutions? So far, yes. Now we're going to hear a word from Junior Amanda Sun. Okay, so my New Year's resolution was to meditate five minutes every day and also do push-ups and sit-ups because I'm in cross-country. Awesome. How is it? um, Have you kept it up so far? Not really. (laughs) After coming back from break, I think most people are really lazy and tired and sleepy. After this week, I'm going to start doing it. So whenever Lily and I would go around interviewing people, a lot of people that we came up to talked about Nefrata. Apparently he had something to say. Yeah, so I talked to a few current sophomores, and apparently Nefrata talked to all the students about New Year's resolutions and how they can be detrimental to students because they seem so large and lots of people give up. So here is sophomore Matt O to discuss that. So at first I had a New Year's resolution. It was like to be proud of the work that I do. I'm to like really put more, put more work into it, but then like, Mr. Nefrata said something about having a small goal. I started really thinking about that, and it's true. Like, it's a lot easier to break a really big resolution <laughs> than um, breaking a small one. Well, that about wraps it up for these New Year's resolutions. I hope all of you are sticking to yours. I know I'm going to try. Thank you so much for listening to the LG episode three. Catch you next time.